Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs. It's time to play some more Roguelands as Zero the Assassin. This has been my most difficult character to get wins on, and I'm trying my best to understand you know, where the damage is coming from, how I can better improve my gameplay with them. And I've gotten a few nice a few nice melee builds together, but they just haven't done enough damage to the raid bosses. Like I died to Pyro Pete while trying to melee him. That was pretty embarrassing. We'll pick up that last. Let's see what we got for our relic. Cooldown rate, it's really, really nice. A Jacob Sniper is very nice as well. A more cooldown rate and some ambush skill. Plus, oh, a doll. How about a doll slag SMG number three? A TDR shoddy could be good. A melee damage fire pistol. A roid damage shield. For more melee. And let's go for our launcher in the fourth spot. Let's do it. So we got Jacob Sniper number three, Doll SMG number four, and let's put launcher number five. And with a with a Roy damage, oh sticky homing slag transfusion. Thank God I saw that. That's my best in slot grenade for me personally. Let's see what we got here. I I would like I like both these options. I, let's go for snipers early. What do you say? A little bit of sniper action early. I have an, an easy way to slag, so I don't really need like a super easy way to slag. See, see look at it. Sticks to him. Let's see, come on, stick to him. Land and stick, brother. Land and stick. Try again. There we go. There's a land. There's the stick. I can deception now. He's gone. Oh, miss. See ya. My shock damage sniper is really nice because a lot of these enemies are going to have shields later. This sniper is also melee. So I could go a sniper melee build. The, uh, the never before seen sniper melee zero. Hey, stop throwing stuff at me. Later. It takes two shots. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to get me out of sight. Oh, nice. Kill five enemy unawares with sniper rifles? Why is, why are my, uh... Oh, oh. Why, why are my, uh... Achievements reset? What do you say we just launch with these laddies? Come on, reappear. I know you want to. There you are. Later. <laughs> Uh, Hyperion shoddy. Nah, I'm good. Whoa. Where are you going, bud? Just need to kill one more and then they all go. And I can climb all the way up here and get to the pressure plate and the red chest. Let's see. Explosive damage. Launcher max ammo, max grenade count. Ooh. The explosive damage is going to be nice. Launcher max grenade count is going to be nice, too. I could just use launchers. I made a video about it. It's my most successful video on the channel. Some shotties in the small map. I mean, we're taking purple weapons. That's as simple as that. The question is, what do we take? Right just over there. For our first five points. And this has been my biggest problem when I played Zero. Is like, what do I take for skills? And so many purple weapons. We're pretty flexible right now. I have found it tremendously difficult to figure out what to actually use as weapons. Um, I think I like my grenade. Because look, right here, increased reload speed and weapon swap speed, that seems really good to me. This tree is all melee. Like, it's all melee. So, I don't really necessarily see, like, us going that tree. Because I've tried melee a bunch of times and it's failed. So let's take the reload speed and the weapon swap speed. I think reload speed is something that's very effective. And so is weapon swap speed, to be honest with you. It's more effective if you're slagging and bagging, but that is what it is. Let's see. Team critical damage, fearless, and ambush. When your shield is depleted, you gain a bonus to gun damage and fire rate and ambush. Oh, man. As opposed to what? Cooldown rate and ambush. Well, I mean, it's better. 
Let's have to see him get out of here. Plus the critical damage. I'll take the sniper rifle damage. Plus the critical damage is going to help me in the early game. What you got? No crit there. I might just use launchers against these lads. Oh, this is a times two Hyperion pistol. This is going to be good. All right, now that we have our deception up, let's go ahead and wait for them to group up on my laddie. Boom. See ya. Bye, Fossil Skag. Ammo regen and fire rate. Let's grab that. And let's throw on our explosive damage. Explosive damage relic as we absolutely just run through this zone. I know you're spawning over here. Oh. There we go. There, yeah, now everyone's dead. Let's see. Is that Jacob's? How many TDRs am I going to get? I mean, I could go a TDR grenade build. It's kind of what I'm getting. A booster shield. A lob Tesla. I mean, I have a sticky homely slag transfusion. Right? Yeah, sticky homing slag transfusion. That's, that is my best in slot grenade. I'm not going to swap off of it. Yeah, so I knew it. I knew it. We're also going to check TK Baja's chest. Jacob's pistols. I'm good. I, I, Jacob's pistols. It's interesting on Zero because Zero gets fire rate in his class mods for the middle tree. And I feel like the middle tree is the best for pistol builds. And Jacob's doesn't benefit from fire rate at all. Uh, It's almost double the damage. Let's see. I mean, we're going to take it. The launcher's primary job is to get us up from fight for your life. Increase your damage dealt when attacking from behind or when someone is attacking an enemy who, other than you. Let's take... I mean, ambush is a universal damage amplifier. So. Well, six more points in it. And one point in death mark probably next time, maybe. I mean, we don't really need to take death mark until we get kunai. But I am determined this run to... <laughs> To be as successful as I possibly can. So we can slag and bag with a grenade. Later. There we go. I have an explosive damage relic, which is going to help me a lot. Bandit shotties are nice, but I pass. Rabbit skag. Let's get everybody grouped up. Let's toss some grenades out now. Get everybody grouped up on my lad. I probably should have thrown it on top of the ranged units. Now that I'm thinking about it. Throw my clone on top of range units. I gotta think about that. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> See ya. Let's right, run back here and grab the spread chest. If I can throw my clone on top of the range units, then the melee units will dogpile, and then I can hit them all at once. Let's see. Team critical damage. Reload speed. Shield capacity. Sniper rifle gun damage. Shield capacity minus a whole man. This one's slightly better than the one I've got. In fact, I can go 11 out of 5 shark and get basically the same thumbnail as last time. Sniper rifle gun damage will take. Reload speed. What is... Plus steel capacity. What is two fang? Two fang. Every time you fire a gun, there's a chance to fire twice. I made that. What is killer? Killer, killer. It's gotta be on this left side. It's just... Killing an enemy increases critical hit damage and reload speed for a few seconds. Wow. We're taking a lot of things right now. I mean, our inventory is going to get pretty full. But we could do a mix of sniper and launcher. Oh, a little framey. Okay. Again, this is where I've been at with Zero for most of my time playing Zero, is just not knowing you know, what kind of what kind of weapons to take or what kind of play style to go to. And launchers are pretty nice. Because deception increases our bullet damage. Oh, that's nice too. Alright, so let's find let's test our theory here. We got a really high damage launcher. Do we have any range units attacking us? It does not look like it. Everyone seems to be melee, so let's toss a grenade early. I need to reduce my fuse time though. Oh, they all died. Okay. This is what it is. Let's see. A TDR pistol. 
that explodes like a grenade. I mean, we could go... I mean, we could go all explosives. Let's see. More ambush damage. I think is the way. And we'll screen... And we will screenshot our, our lab, the shark here. Each successful ranged or melee attack grants stacking damage or your... Uh, your, highlight, your decoy grants shock. I'm not sure how much shock. But I think it's going to be good. And do you know what? Let's lean in. TDRs across the board. I know we have a ton of them. Pistol. How about an SMG? Do I have an SMG? I do not. That's okay. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be rocking TDRs, launchers, and all that kind of stuff for more explosive damage. F two. Let's get out. Group up enemies and then blow them up. Amp damage shield is going to be a very nice. Let's use some skulls, yeah. First skull, number one, around this corner. Pop goes the weasel. Alright, let's find some ranged units. Ow, ow, ow. These guys right here. Okay. I think they all might be ranged, though. It's the thing. So against ranged units, it's a little bit more tough. Fire. 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 Get the melee off. Oh, I'm, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. What's up, bonehead? That reload's pretty, pretty long, even with some reload enhancements. Alright, I need to throw my decoy. Let's see how much damage this laddie does. Two. One. Fire. Boom. See ya. Oh, there's a launcher on the ground right there. Maybe we do want to pick that up. Let's see. Mix Moxie's Creamer. We're going to use it as our primary option for now to see how much damage it does. I mean, it does do a lot. TDR? Oh, a TDR Spiker Pistol? Mm, mine does... Mine has larger magazines, so it's probably going to do more damage. A patented uh, adaptive shield. Let's take the adaptive shield. And we're going to be shooting some skulls. Skull number two underneath here. Bada bing, bada boom. T How about a TD or SMG? Oh my gosh. Ask and you shall receive. Let's go. And number three skull, I believe it is inside here, or it's around here somewhere, right? Hmm, I gotta remember where this, where the second one is. Uh, give me one second, I'll find it. Oh, I know where it is. It's right here. No. Where is it? I'll find it. Okay, now I remember. It's actually up here. If you go to where Bone, uh, where Bonehead spawns around this house... If you look up, it's up there. Bada bing, bada boom. We're looking for a big amp damage shield. Speedy shield, classic shield, absorb shield. Uh, let's see. Fires a blister shower of bullets around a bouncing, bouncing projectile. Classic shield. Uh, I don't know about any of these. I'll take. I'll keep my my adaptive shield. I think that'll be fine. More purple weapons, but I think we might be going to your explosive build because of our explosive damage synergies. Uh, rising shot or ambush? I think right now what we've got going is pretty good. Your sh while your shield is depleted, you gain a bonus to gun damage and fire rate. Yeah, we kind of want our our shield to get depleted. Anyways, while deception is active, you get increased gun damage and movement speed as well as regenerate health. I mean, we're going to be in deception often. Often. As much as possible. Now, we, we're not making use of the critical damage. It's the biggest problem I'm having. So this plus five in ambush and cooldown rate is probably better. So that I can be using my deception more often and this blowing people up with launcher shots. All right. Take one shot. Let's go kill Smash Head. I think we can get him to spawn immediately if we open up, open up this chest. Ow. Yeah, here it comes. Toss, toss some slag. Deception. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fire. See ya later. We just one shot smash head. Let's go. The entire round is now officially done. It's pretty big. That's fairly large. Oh, let's see. A homing fire bee. 
That could be interesting. All right, what do we got? We got a little orc. Let's see what this thing does. Doesn't look like anything too spectacular. The Pimpernel, which is a very good shield, and the Tactical Gwen's Head. Think outside the box, the Gwen's Head. That's right, this is a six round burst doll pistol. Sticky, Homing Merv, Longbow, Slag, Bouncing Betty. It's got 3.6 second fuse time though. I'll snooze it. Let's see, Assault Rifle and Pistol, Max Grenade Count, now I'm good. The explosive damage is helping out a lot, 36%. It's multiplicative damage scaling because I don't have any other elemental bonuses for explosions. I know I'm spitting a lot of facts at you, but these, getting just a little bit of element, elemental damage in our relic is huge. A TDR SMG with 38 magazine size. Yeah. Let's do that. Now for our next skill, every time you fire a gun, there's a, you have a chance to fire twice. That's pretty good. That seems pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. I could go launcher plus melee. That way when I melee, my next shot will do more damage. Question. Does... Does kunai count as a melee attack? I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. Right chest? Thank you. Killing smash that on one hit was pretty nice. That felt pretty good. And that was without an amp damage shield. A Jacob shotgun is like perfect for a purple Jacob shotgun is a bladed purple Jacob shotgun is perfect for like a melee build. I ch I just one shot smash that with M Miss Moxie's creamer. You know what I'm saying? Ambush cooldown rate velocity unforeseen. I I need the ambush skill. As much as I want that cooldown, I need ambush. It's too much damage to ignore. Too much. I think that's it. I think we can have to get out. Yep, let's do it. Ooh. Pretty good start. Pretty good start. I have other launchers I can use that with our faster firing projectiles, I think. Alright, spider rants. This should be fairly easy. A 38 magazine size TDR SMG. Let's take that. Wait, I think I already have a 38. That's okay. Come on, lads. Let's go group up on this guy right here. This ranged attacker. Just throw the decoy at the ranged attacker. And then just wait. Thank you. Any ranged attackers? Both of you? Are you both ranged? Let's go gather up some more of your friends, huh? Come on, lads. Everybody group up. It's like I'm playing Call of Duty Nazi Zombies right now. That's okay. If you get out of range of all of them, they will eventually go into their maximum range of you. So just get out of range of all of them. I got one melee guy on me. That's not cool, man. I'll look at those class mods here in a second. Alright, so now they're all somewhat grouped up. Those guys are going to their maximum range. You see that? They're smart. They go to their maximum range. Fire. The creamer. We love the creamer. Can it fire twice? It can. That's craziness. Team accuracy. Accuracy, accuracy. I'm at 10 out of 15. Let's just use a TDR. Boom. See ya. Oh, iridium. And maybe some, maybe some more explosive damage. Would be nice. Slag damage. No, I'm good. Fire once. Throw. There's one gone. Tidor is broken. Oh my goodness. Just blow everything up zero. Let's see. I would very much like to get a amp damage shield. So that way my, my launcher shots are doing the absolute most damage they can. Okay, you gonna you gonna juke? Oh, a loot spider rant! Thank God. What is that? A bouncing Bonnie, a loud bouncing Bonnie. What do you got for me? Go. Does it do explosive damage when it connects? 
Oh my gosh. That's pretty sick. I mean, it's, I'm not slagging, but do I have to? This question. All right, one point in Kunami and one point in Death Mark. I promise I'll use it this time. Here's the question now. Critical hit damage or zoom with all gun types? Hmm. Or melee attack. Here's what we can do. We can put points into rising shot and see if the kunai count as melee attacks. Or we can... Let's take increased melee damage and maximum health. And that way we can get to Grim. Which gives us more action skill cooldown after killing somebody. Which is what we're looking for. Sticky homing slag transfusion with a... Oh, I see. My inventory is full here. I'll drop out some inventory and pick up my slag grenade back. Give me one sec. Alright, you guys ready? Boom! See you later. Take our slag transfusion back. We can do this. We can make this build work. I think. This is the way. Sticky homing corrosive transfusion. It's almost as good as my slag one. Sticky homing and saying their singularity. Alright, let's have to get out. We're looking okay. This Miss Moxie Screamer is doing a ton of damage. I'm gonna have to kill Mad Mike, aren't I? No, I don't. Thank God. All right. Let's just let's just take out this lunatic. Oh wow, that shock damage is nice. Reload me. Oh, miss. Oh yeah. One shot. Fire. Easy. Deception out. I'm currently slagged, which is tough. Fire. Oh. oh, you resist explosive, huh? You resist explosive? Not enough. Oh, wow. Critical hit damage, reload speed. Headshot, fast hands, counter strike, killing blow, iron hand. That's going to be all. It doesn't give me any points in ambush, though. And I need, I, I think I need the ambush. I could be wrong, but I think I need the ambush. Hey, stop that. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like ambush is such an important skill for what we're trying to accomplish. But let's toss some extremely explosive grenades out there. Deception out. And eventually they'll die. I just don't want to die to my own grenade here. Okay. The dust has settled and I get to take my reward. Some slag options. Could be good. But a lot of the raid bosses and stuff, you can't actually slag. Nice. So, I'm not too sure how much stock I put in this slag at this current moment, but... A slag transfusion is nice, though. Alright, five points. I want to get down to Grim. Let's do it. It gets my shields to regenerate, which can help me if I get an ant damage shield eventually. And it gives me cooldown right on my action skill. Which is nice. All right, we can get out. 7 out of 10. What do we got? Arid Nexus Boneyard. The yard. Kill enemies. I can do that. Slaggity slag. Oh, it's this area. I know this one. All right, let's go. Jump down. Sub Sergeant Loader. I can toss one grenade, I think. See ya. And this is way for it. Wait for my action skill to get off cooldown. Ion loader's gotta go, though. Can't let these guys get up their shields. It's a direct counter to me. What's up with all these ion loaders? Here's what we do. We go inside there. Deception out. Nade out. Fire. Oh, I'm down. Should not have shot that shot. Swap. They're going inside the ion loader. That's crazy. There we go. Deception out. Wait for it. Oh, I have to reload anyway. That's fine. Just activating deception. It buys me time to think. Ambush. Plus six ambush. Reload speed, shield capacity. Perfect, perfect. Much better. So now I have plus six in the ambush still. But instead of critical hit damage, I get reload speed and shield capacity. The old one was just... Oh, wait, no. The old one was just cooldown. I think the reload speed and shield capacity is better. Personally. Okay, 5 out of 10. Only 4 shots left in my launcher. Save some. Maybe. Yeah, we can get 5 kills here just with our grenades, probably. 
Can I do it without dying? Okay. Wait a second. I see you guys. Meet my the clone. There you go. Let's see if my clone can do the job. Oh, I've got Kunai. Not quite enough. Now it's enough. I can I get some launch ammo? Launch ammo is one of the hardest things to come by in Borderlands in general. That's why the 98% the sham is so sought after. Because the sham allows you to use something like a Logan's gun, shoot it at your feet and get your launch ammo back. Alright, do we have anything else? Killing enemy, movement speed, melee damage, and gun damage. Hmm. I want to put one point and be like water just to see. Just to see if my kunai will proc it. That way I will know if kunai is behaving as if it were a melee attack. I can watch my screen to see if I get it. 36 damage, I'm good. Anything else here? One more red chest. Yeah, let's take it. Oh, rockets. Let's go. And watch my rocket ammo. When you pick up a launcher, you get... Oh, I thought you got ammo. I'm full on ammo. Why do I do this? Let's take launcher max ammo. Increase it. Oh, another red chest up there. Now, you do get max ammo back between rounds, but I believe launcher ammo is one of the things that you do not. I do not see Be Like Water active. What if I melee this guy? There we go. Now Be Like Water is active. So we know now that Kunai does not activate melee skills such as Rising Shot, such as Be Like Water. That's good. That's good information to have. Is there anything that we need from these trees? This skill, this skill could be good for reloading our launchers. One shot, one kill is really good as well. You know what? Bullet speed and gun damage and critical hit damage, all guns. These these are all great skills. Every skill that we have is going to be really important. Let's respec. Five points in the fast hands for reload speed and swap speed. Five points in the ambush for maximum damage potential. One shot, one point in the death mark. I don't think we really need unforeseen. I think fearless might be better. Gun damage and fire rate. I don't know. Let's go unforeseen for a few. Innervate, five points. Two Fang, five points. One point in cunning. Now we want the action skill cooldown over here. So let's go Iron Hand, five. Grim, five. And move over to the left side tree. And get, and get some of these skills over here next. Fire. Oh. I gotta reload. That's okay. I got increased reload speed now. Let's go. All right, eat my clone. All right, see ya. The increased bullet speed is going to be nice for us as well. Banjo number one, see ya. Get meleeed, get meleeed, get meleeed, get meleeed. I have increased melee damage. The Miss Moxie's creamer. I'm creaming over the creamer, let's see. Some critical damage, I'm good. I would take critical hit damage, but launchers can't crit as far as I'm aware, so. Why would I take it? No reason. Climb, climb, climb. Let's hit this fuse box. Open up this chest despite it probably not having anything good for us. Let's go shoot Banjo number two. We're still looking for an amp damage shield because now our shield will regenerate after getting a kill, so. The hope is that our amp damage can one shot. We don't need the extra launcher max ammo right now. Let's just take the explosive damage. Throw my, throw my clone out. There we go. Fire. That's what I'm talking about right there. That is massive damage. But there we go. See you later. Oh, my frames when that happens. Holy cow. Let's see. Open up. We also need to find the last banjo. Let's see, 27 round magazine size, I'm good. Critical damage, I'm good. 
plus five in ambush and 16% cooldown rate. I mean, it's kind of the best of both worlds, and extra points in unforeseen could be funny as well. We're gonna we're gonna try it out. We we want more cooldown for sure. What do we got? TDR twenty pistol. What do we got for our pistol? Twenty four. Sorry. And the final banjo around the backside of this tent. How? How? Noise. How about an amp shield? An amp shield. Yes. Now we're going to the moon. The Fremington's Edge. Very nice. All right. Five points. Let's go one point in optics because I have to. And four points in kills. Killing enemy increases your critical damage and reload speed for a few seconds. Nice. And our deception's on a shorter cooldown. And we don't need slag grenades because we have got kunai. I keep forgetting that, you know, kunai makes up for the fact that we don't we don't have to use slag grenades if I got kunai. I think just ignore everybody and go right for Doc Mercy. Doc. Hey Doc. Let's fire once. Reload me. One, two, three, four, five. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fire. See ya. Doc Mercy is gone, which means all the other enemies will also despawn. The Veritas, the Cobra, and the Rock Salt. The, the Cobra is the perfect, like, explosive damage sniper rifle. Or zero. It could be so fun. One shot people's heads with explosive damage. But at this point, I think we're pretty pot committed to this launcher damage build. Oh, yeah. It could be the this could be the way that I actually extend, you know, my my runs past the first with zero. Let's see what we got. Kind of trash. We get five points. Boar could be good. But I kinda want the first damage fired from my weapon to do 48% gun damage. Not gonna lie to ya. And I have a follow-up question is, is that more important than this right side tree? Uh, kinda. It is gonna be for, it's probably gonna be more important for, def definitely for a, a raid boss. If we get a raid boss that doesn't spawn ads or anything, we will. Like, if we get Hyperius, I'll respec. But for now, we can have to go to Sanctuary, increase our rocket launcher max ammo. And that's about all we need. I'm going to get some grenades, going to get some sniper rifle, and I'm, gonna also, I'm also going to invest in the TDR max ammos as well. So, first let's cap out my launcher. That's important. Oh my gosh, it looks like a launcher too. Now it's a TDR shoddy. Eight magazine size, minus eight magazine size. The reload speed is slower. I keep my own. TDRs come in all shapes and sizes, but it's pistol... Shotgun, SMG, pistol, shotgun, SMG, pistol, shotgun, SMG, and I'm out. Let's design my character. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, meet Bomber Biro. He is my launcher damage zero. And actually, if I if I swap to my launcher, Miss Machi's creamer, and get in there, it'd probably be an even better picture. Look at that laddie. He's looking thick. All right, let's go. All right, F2. Let's go fight a raid boss, shall we? What do we got? All right, Terramorphous, he does spawn some adds, but the question is, do I really need kill skill? I don't think I need this. Let's go ahead and respec and get rid of the right side tree entirely. What do you guys say? Reload speed and weapon swap speed, important. Shark, important. Unforeseen, probably important. Death mark, definitely important. Innervate, insanely important. Two fang, really important. I want to be able to hit what I'm shooting at, so let's take that. Kill skill. Killing enemy increases your critical hit damage and reload speed. Or improves accuracy. Let's let's take this one. So that way we got 14 points. The first shot fired from a magazine does increase damage. Yeah. Increase gun damage as well. Greatly improves... I don't need sniper rifle stuff. No sniper rifle stuff needed. Two fang, extra point. Let's see. 
I don't think I need boar. Is there anything I could I could put more points into? That's useful. I mean accuracy with all gun types. You know, maybe I should take the three points in maximum health. Alright. Let's go. Come on, Terra. Meet the creamer. Ground type Pokemon. We got this. 31 shots. We only got 31 shots to save the world. I, this is why you can't take power-ups and try to like hold them over for the for the raid boss round. Because this guy, this takes so long. And so do some of the other ones. Alright, let's go. Kunai me. Wait for it. Two. One. Fire. Not bad damage at all. Reload me. Not bad damage whatsoever. Don't get knocked off the edge now, though. Let's see. I got a deception. On top of where he's going to spawn. Are you at, homie? Ah, oh, he keeps knocking me back. I want to get my clone on top of him so I can make use of my... You know what? Let's toss this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Two... One fire. Huge damage. Enormous damage. Hey, bro, don't hit me. He only hits you once, though. That's Terramorphus' greatest weakness, is the fact that he only hits you once. Deception. Kunai. This is going to be it for you, brother. I'm really sorry. Amp damage. Fire. Gone. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. This is the build. Capacity increases by 21 for each hope light in the party. <laughs> Movement speed decreased for each hope light. <laughs> That's a very interesting, very interesting shield. I didn't, even, I didn't even get that much loot. I killed him too quick. What is this? Well, let's keep going, shall we? I mean, we are 37 minutes into the recording, but I mean, we feel strong. All right, let's go pressure plate me. Yeah, you're watching a master at work. The creamer absolutely one shot. Terramorphous. I mean, it didn't one shot, one shot, but it, it got close. The, the last pressure pad's back there. Come on, I'm hitting it. You know I'm hitting it. Ha, dang it. Really? Picky picky, man. Alright, but Stanley, let's continue on, shall we? F2, F2, F2. Let's go. Can I get zero? I've only ever completed tier two with Maya. And if I can get there with zero with a launcher build, I'll be a happy camper. Right now, I feel like my build is pretty locked in stone. Let's see, a six damage or six magazine size TDR. I pass. Big launcher. But my, I'm pretty sure my creamer is like. Yeah, my creamer is doing redonk damage for sure. Sawtooth Cauldron. Let's see how it goes. We could get a better relic. That's for sure. Cooldown rate 41%. I like, I like having the extra um, explosive damage. Oh, it's in the air, I see. Fire. There's no way that guy survived. That's crazy. Dude, he's so... He got so messed up that he actually ended up um, hurting himself. Or he didn't actually end up going enraged. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Wait for it. Fire. Fire. Oh, let's go TDR for a bit. Save our uh, launcher and max ammo. Going good, going good. Alternate badass. Well, luckily I got something for that. It starts with kunai. It starts with a reload. <laughs> it's not it's not reloading fast enough, but the unforeseen does ridiculous damage. You're going down, brother. I win. Alright, let's see. Juggernaut. Chuck. Let's fire once. Get the deception out there. 
kunai and i'm just gonna reload reload oh i can just i can do that without breaking my uh decoy that's pretty cool thank you i right, five points that's a pretty big bandit launcher five points i can i can start making my way into this go tree now there we go now my shields will come back all the points that i couldn't get before i can get now I like it. Alright. Deception active. Where are you going, buddy? I'm going to assume that he's going to kill that. I'm going to kill this. There we go. Fire. Ow. I'm so glad that it wasn't like the end of the round or something when that happened. Curse pirate? I'm happy for you, bro. But at the same time, get out of my face. Oh, yeah. Here we go. See ya. I'm a big mix Moxie's creamer kind of guy. Chuck. One shot. Chuck. Where are you going? See ya. Not bad. We're even remembering to throw our kunai this round. Are you guys proud of me? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, These guys look like they could use a little bit of a... Whoa. Fire. Huge. You next. Melee. Melee. Oh, he takes no damage, huh? Man, that... That railing is doing a lot of work for that guy. Uh, it's the deception active. Chuck. Not bad. Chuck. Oh, bad toss. Anchor man. I gotta reload my creamer. Who do you think you're messing with, bro? You're gonna get one shot. Say goodnight. Unforeseen does us so much damage as well. I, I, I gotta put some respect on Unforeseen's name for sure. We're fine. Reload. Unforeseen should kill this guy. Oh, it's close. It's close. No. He's completely fine. Alright, we got him. All right, a bad, a worse amplify shield. I'm not going to go for it. Alright, two more points into Grim. That's big. I could go one point to execute for getting around the map faster. Or killing an enemy increases your movement speed, melee damage, and gun damage for a few seconds. I'll take that. More kill skills. We are doing quite a bit of killing. This is the best way to play Zero. It's gotta be. I mean, the fact that we're just one-shotting. And I'm thankful for the creamer, to be honest. Doesn't it heal us as well? Bandit launchers are not really what I'm looking for. Like, I really would... I need Torg. This Torg has slow projectiles, and I can make use of my increased bullet speed. And it has the highest damage of any launcher type. So Torg launchers is what we're looking for. Oh! Take it. I don't know what it said. Please be launcher damage. Please be launcher damage. Assault rifle damage. Ah, oh, dang. That's okay. More band ammo. I'm good. But I want the rocket ammo. We can come back. Where you at, homies? Target bullet stormer? Well... You're not bullet storming anything anymore, bro. SMG damage, cooldown rate. These are all really good options. Get the cooldown rate. I mean, I'm not going to equip it, but... I'm going to get slagged. Uh, I think he's going to be gone. Maybe. I got to do a better job of uh, thinking about who I'm attacking and why. Get over here. What are you doing? Like, the person, if I, if I kunai someone and they're in unforeseen, they're probably gonna die. So I can use my amp shot on somebody else, you know? Just like that, you see? Increase pallet count for a short time. Sure, let's just shock on it. But the, the decreased, um, fire rate during this period is pretty rough. You almost want to use a weapon with extremely high fire rate when you get this power up.
Oh, I'm hurt. I need to pick up that. Come on, spawn in, brother. What are you doing? One shot, fire. There we go. Oh gosh, I'm in trouble now. Toss. Or destroyer. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Machi Screamer. One shots are real. Shock damage, I saw rifle damage. No, I'm good. Uh oh. I'm next to a barrel as well, I gotta be careful. Kunai. Rocket shot. Amp rocket shot. Let's clean him up with some TDR. I like it. I mean I'm I'm liking I'm liking what we got going here. Two points in follow through, that's gonna give us a ton more gun damage. Killing enemy with a melee attack restores health, the lower the health, the more damage. Nah, I'm good. Your melee attacks do more damage when hitting enemies in the back. Snooze it. Shooting enemy increases the damage of your next melee attack. Melee attacks increase the next damage, increase the damage of your next shot. I'm good, honestly. When your shield is depleted, get more stuff, or each successful shot. I'm, I'm kind of running out of places to put points, to be honest with you. Things that actually help us. I mean, imp improved accuracy, I'm not too sure how much that is going to help us, but it's something. It's like, it's not nothing. The rest of these skills are pretty much gar granting me absolutely nothing. I'm sure I'm missing something. You guys are like, no, no, take rising shot. Take, take this, take that. I don't know. Interesting. I mean, I guess I could take rising shot. There's no like downside to it, but I'm just not gonna be procking it that much because I'm doing a lot of waiting and going for one big shot rather than several smalls. And rising shot, I feel like, is good when you're going for several small shots. Could be me though. Could be my misunderstanding situation. All right, this is a tough zone to get through. I'm gonna be happy to have deception for sure. All right, throw this my laddie down. Now let's see if Unforeseen can kill a mutated lab rat. Fire. It does. That's that's ridiculous damage. All right, bring back my action skill, would you? All right, here we go. Mad dog. Mad dog meat launcher. He gives us the cowboy. See ya. <laughs> oh man. Wait. He live? Oh wow. Toss me. Um, I mean, this has got to. I like this build. This got to be one of the best in the game. There's no way it's not. Amp damage, rocket shots, Unai zero. Is it gonna do enough damage? Oh, look at that right there. I guess with my playstyle right now, I could be making use of the melee attacks increase the damage of my next shot. Here we go. Max health, fire rate, melee damage, I snooze both of those. This one right here. Shooting an enemy increases the damage of your next melee attack. Melee attacks increase the damage of your next shot. I think it could be good. It's better than nothing. What do we get? Ammo regen and fire. Hey, let's do it. Just to get max ammo. Ooh, that's Torg. Less damage, though. It's basically like a Moxie's Creamer, but worse. And Moxie's Creamer is healing us. I believe. Oh, shoot Tina's bombs. Alright, I'll shoot some Tina's bombs for you guys. I'll show you where they're at. What can we get though? It's like it's the question is, what can we get from it? We already have decent stuff across the board, but there's there's one over there. Um, where are the rest of these? If I can think about it real quick, I think there's one. A type of there maybe. Also might be one back here. Either way, like, I don't necessarily think that getting these Tiantani, uh, Tiantina's 
laddies are going to help us all that much. You know what I'm saying? Because it gives us purples. But actually, I think it could give us uniques now that we're in tier 2, right? So yeah, I am going to look around for them. I'll be right back, you guys. Alright, so if you look in spawn, like this is your spawn area right here, and you see this strange railing. Yeah, if you just look behind it, bada bing, bada boom, there's uh, rabbit number two. Let's find number three. All right, rabbit number three is in the far back area in this catwalk. Right there. Giant rabbit spawns. Let's take it. What do you got for me? Please give me something good. Let's see, a homing slag bouncing Betty. Lob slag transfusion. I mean, these are decent shields, but again, we didn't get anything that we necessarily really wanted. Early on, I feel like those are pretty good. We're on a different track. Round five. Golden Golem. Does he resist explosive? Guess we'll find out. Come on, bro. What you got? Show me a health bar and I'll show you a death bar. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Wait to the last second. Fire. Ooh. Not as much. Not as much. That's okay. We can always just TDR it out while we wait. Oh, yeah. All right, so now got deception. Launcher. Oh, wait, launcher. Fire. No, nothing. Wow. I mean, we got something out of it, but. I just TDR it up. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, I can get some kill skills on these guys. Oh, definitely deception out now. Remember me. Boom, back to full. Okay. Come on, Gollum. What you got? Like I said, we're just kind of waiting is the thing. Toss. One, two, three, four, five. And... Fire. They're getting, they're getting zapped by the laser. I gotta be more careful. The laser will block my launcher shots. Oh, he's coming back. Yes. A deception. One, two, three, four, five. Wait for it. Fire. That's much bigger. Much bigger shot. We go for one shot at a time. Hey, don't zap me. Stop zapping me. Deception out. Hopefully my shield can regen in time. Two. Wait. Fire. Yes. We're looking good. Looking good. Nicely done. Nicely done. You're staying on top of all the loot, brother. Thank you. Yes, please dissolve. The Iridium is going to be nice. Maybe we can get ourselves a legendary launcher. Toss. Let's see. The Sloth, the Pimpernel, or the Aquitas. I'm sure, I know the Pimpernel is good. You guys really like it, but I'm not going to go it. I rolled a four. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I've rolled a 20 before and not gotten, like, anything that crazy, is what it is. We're still getting skill points. The Avenger or the Hornet? I'll take the Avenger. What do we need points? How about points in Rising Shot? So now, kind of like, no matter what we're doing, we're getting increased damage. No matter how we're playing it, whether we are getting in there and meleeing, whether we're not getting in there and meleeing, no matter what we're doing, we're getting increased damage. All right, let's go. Got the creamer. I don't want to shoot at you. I want somebody. Oh, never mind. Whatever, he's gone. All right, so that's rising shot. How long does rising shot last? Is the question. I can stack up rising shot on this lad. Like in the in the interim period, stack rising shot. Oh, my rising shot's all gone. They have a sergeant loader in the back. I can toss some grenades. I haven't really been tossing too many grenades. My grenades are super good, so I gotta start doing that more. War loader. Gone. Let's go, baby. Grenade out. Oh. Hey, that's not very that's not cool, man. For that. You die. I 
I know for a fact that this guy is super annoying to deal with. I'm just gonna try to look for any other loader besides him. Oh, you're lucky, man. Cooldown rate, unforeseen on ambush. Here we go. Here's a sergeant loader I can take out. Maybe unforeseen will do the job. No, he's getting out of the range. That's fine. I'm quick boy. I was a quick boy. You said I was a slick boy. Extra, extra shot chance. Question. Is that stack? I got, it looks like I'm not firing four times. So I'd rather just have the explosive damage. F2, get out. Again, explosive damage relic is giving me a multiplicative damage bonus of 1.35 because I have no other elemental damage bonuses in my skill trees. So getting an explosive damage bonus specifically on zero is really powerful. Oh, yeah. oh man, you guys have no idea what you just said to yourselves. All right. I like what it's I like what I'm seeing, I like what I'm feeling. What do we got? Boss. Didn't even need to do anything there. My next melee attack will do increased damage. My next gun will do... Ow! <laughs> My next gun will do increased damage. There we go. Ah, uh, Constructor. I like killing this Constructor because of how much this Constructor has killed me in the past. Ow! Not cool. Please do not let me die here. There we go. I mean, I have a lot of damage. I'm not too afraid of dying, but... This one's gotta go. There we go. That laddie has got to go. We, we get back a portion. I think it's a percentage of our maximum health for launchers, or it might be, it might be a flat amount. Either way, I'm gonna equip my... I've got 13 shots now. I'm going to equip... My launcher max ammo. Relic? Let's see. Really? The same one. That's crazy. I'm going to equip this relic so that on the next stage, hopefully I can get back more launcher ammo. No rockets. That's okay. F2. Let's see how many rounds I get back. I got back 13 plus, or 19 minus 13 is 6. I got back 6 rocket shots, but we got more right there. That's nice. All right, Deception active. Rugged Marauder. There's one. At the very most, we'll be shooting 10 shots per round. And I don't really need the explosive damage for now. Against these kind of enemies. Explosive damage is really more for raid boss kills than anything else. Let's go. Ah. All right. Deception. Deception out. Fire. I know there's a guy up here. Let's TD arm. One shot. Oh, man. This TDR is kind of... Kind of buns. The other, all my other T doors are kind of getting outscaled. Oh, he's gonna get upset. Oh yeah, that's a waste of a rocket shot for sure. Wasting too much rocket ammo on kills that are taking too many bullets. There we go. Two more kills to get. More wasted ammo. I'm not doing a great job of conserving. Sneak up behind this guy and just melee him. There we go. Check my inventory. I don't get any more points, so... No more five point... Five, five point payouts. But I, I think our skill tree is kind of like where we want it. Don't have much more to put in. Some rockets? No rockets. No Houston rockets. That's okay. 
open up this last red chest, then I'll head out. Ooh, come on. Explosive damage relic or something. Life your lifetime. Cooldown rate. I mean, I could go more cooldown rate. And that could have the same effect of reducing my ammo consumption because I'd be doing more damage per shot. Oh, fire. There we go. Oh, he lived. That's not good. There we go. I kind of want to stick with TD orders for a bit. And then just try to get one shots with TD or weapons. There we go. We are going to shoot the TVs as well, or the radios as well. Radio number one is right there. Oh, Incinerator Clayton, what's up, homie? Gone. What did he give me? The kitten. That's a fun weapon. See, Torque, weapon magazine size, Torque, accuracy recovery, or cooldown rate. We like, we like Torque. Melee. Nice. Very nice. Radio number two. And radio number three is in the center of the map. Oh, gosh. Later. Eat this. Yeah, eat this. Yeah. All right, radio number three, center of the map. Right there. Kunai is so, so good. Right, shoot my giant radio. Homing Tesla. I think the homing Tesla could be good if someone resists. Oh, I ha I'm, I'm full. Dang it. How am I always full, man? There we go. Everyone's dead. I got to end up down my inventory real quick. I'll see you guys back in a second. Are you guys ready? Boom. Nice. I want both these grenades. I want the homing Tesla and I want the, the massive explosive one. So we're taking both. My choice. Nobody else's. What else we got? Any launch ammo? I mean, we're, we're doing okay on launch ammo, it looks like. I can coming over here and be like, whoa, whoa. I mean, 46% cooldown rate. Is it better than ambush? I, I I don't think so. I think the damage is where it's at. We're going to stick with it. It has, has not led us astray yet. We're not going to switch it up. F2, let's go. Dragon Keep. This is gonna... This is hopefully not gonna be too bad. But we'll see. Alright, he's the middle one. Okay, all his, all his friends are gone. All his friends are gone. I have some Tesla grenades. You know what, let's... Yo, in between deceptions, I need to be using some TDRs or something. That's not bad. In between. Just throw some TDRs at this guy. Gotcha. Ow. So we just throw some kunai at him. Oh, I gotta reload. That's a waste. Yeah, make sure I reload before that happens. That way I'm not looking around like a, like a dummy. Doing nothing. I think that's that one right there. I think it's this. I think it's this fellow. It is, yeah. Okay, don't waste any more rocket shots. Just keep going with these TDRs. Do I have my explosive damage relic on? No, I don't. Just put that on. Where'd you go? Oh, it's the new guy. One, two, three, four, five. Not the best damage in the world. That's okay. This time we're gonna get hopefully a better kill here. Go so one kunai him. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Rising shot me. One, two, three, four, five. Kunai out. 
Rising shot goes fast. That's not bad. I didn't have my amp damage on it though. Whoa. See you later. Take our time. We can be, we can be patient. One, two, three, four, five. Fire. Oh, he juked it. You gotta be kidding me. I will pick up this launcher for um, a bunch of rocket shots. I'm gonna get you, homie. One, two, three, four, five. Unforeseen is gonna do big damage right there. Reload me. What you doing, homie? Hit me. I dare ya. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One. I mean, this guy is tanky. He's tanky. I mean, I, know, I don't know what I expected, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm slagged. Oh. What are you doing? One, two, three, four, five. Wait. One. There we go. That's some good damage. All right, the final sorcerer has come. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Decent, de decent deeps, decent deeps. What's up, red dragons? No, I'm not afraid of you. I'm just being patient. Deception's active. Two. One. That's a hit. What did I get? Let's get Emma Regen and Fire Rate for a short time. That's fine. That's exactly what we're looking for. Huge. See ya. Power-ups are really, really nice in times like that. Let's see, a thick landscaper? Get off my lawn. For the bone shredder. I mean, I'll take a couple of these. I'm, take, I'm not taking the rock salt. I know the rock salt's not that good. Let's see, what is this? Sludge's shotgun? I think I'm okay. I do want some of this iridium and stuff. Alright, we can go. Second raid boss time. Second raid boss time. Collect my reward first. Okay, okay. The Skull Masher or the Unicorn Explosion? The Skull Masher. And by Skull Masher, I mean a Unicorn Explosion. <laughs> Alright, I don't, I don't think we need much more in these compartments. Let's instead hit this box a few times. A Topnia, a Fire Topnia could be really good. The Cradle. The Deadly Bloom. What you got? The Transformer. Or the Fabled Tortoise. <laughs> I'm not going the Tortoise. I might go the Transformer. Logan's Gun or the Rapid Infinity. Let's go Infinity. Let's place one of our weapons with it. Our TDR Pistol. Just so we can have something that to, to kind of ding up. Some stuff. Let's see, a tortoise or ne neo generator? Neo generator is good. We're all out, right? Yeah, we are. That's fine. Come on now. We will tier three. I am tier three. Hyperius. Not my favorite matchup in the world. One, two, three, four, five. Wait for it. Boom. That's not bad damage. How can we, how can we negotiate this fight a little bit better? How about an infection? Maybe the infection can like carry us despite not having that much. There we go. Yeah. Maybe throw some grenages. I think for this fight, what I want most of all is cooldown rates. So I'm not going to be getting the cooldown right for my scope free at all. Ouch. Resist corrosive, huh? One, two, three, four, five. 
Not for long, you're not. There we go. One. Yes, yes. Second shot chance is going pretty good. Pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm gonna go down. And that's it. Yeah. This is one of the toughest enemies in the game, Hyperius, especially if. And this is the second time now that my run has ended on Hyperius. That's okay. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit, hit a thumbs up. It really helps the video a ton, a ton. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!